Hi, my name is Wes, my amateur radio call sign W3KW. Here's another project for the bench that I completed some time back. It's a uh, variable power supply, which comes in handy uh, to limit uh, and protect uh, devices under test, uh, especially after restorations or if their uh, circuitry is kind of questionable. Uh, it's built out of an ICO 1060 vintage battery eliminator, and I uh, sanded and painted the case. I think it really turned out great. I like how the uh, front panel is uh, leans back a little bit, so when you're standing at the bench, it makes it easier to uh, see the meters as you're bringing a um, device up. So here's a uh, power switch with uh, a 3 amp thermal fuse turning the power on. We're in variable right now, and you can see if I bring this up, uh, we get voltage here, our device under test, and a load. I'll focus there for you. Or we can go to full line voltage. Okay. And uh, the bulb goes to white when you're in line. And this amber uh, bulb will come on when you're in um, dim bulb. So if I bring this up, it's going to limit the current uh, on the uh, device under test, the bulb up front. You can see the uh, bulb in the back is limiting the current of the front. And uh, at full line voltage, it's only seeing about uh, 65 uh, watts or so. And you can see the amperage with the uh, uh, dim bulb on is lower on the device. You can see it br bring it up. So if there was a short in this device, um, the dim bulb would be full bright and uh, the best way to do it would be to bring it up on the variable and you could watch your device under test and you can watch the load which is the handy part about having the ace and ammeter and a voltmeter uh, simultaneously so i do have a couple of test ports uh, so that you can uh, uh, more accurately set voltage although that's usually not necessary and then I have a uh, Hobbs meter. It's an aircraft Hobbs meter, essentially, which will uh, run in hours um, so that you can uh, kind of track how long you've been burning in a device uh, on the bench after a restoration, for instance. Anyway, if you want to learn more about ham radio, go to qrz.com or go to arrl.org. As usual, give me a thumbs up, uh, comment. Join the channel and uh, let me know if there's some more projects you'd like to see. I have another variable power supply uh, to show you here real soon. And it, it's uh, uh, a pretty, pretty handy project for the bench. Thanks again.